Hey traders, Jason here with Day Trading Fearless. In this video, we're going to talk about trading the S&P EMA futures with NASDAQ um, and also uh, different ways you could do it with options. So I'm going to go over all these different things. Um, so hopefully uh, this video will help and I will leave a link uh, for this um layout down below in the description in case you want to use it i will also leave a link um for nadex if you're interested in signing up with a uh, nadex uh with a link down below in the description but uh, before we begin do me a favor like and subscribe and let's jump right into it okay so i'm going to show you guys how to trade either options um or Nadex uh, binary options with the S&P EMA futures and just kind of maybe for a little longer term type of trade, right? So normally, you know, I look for the one minute chart, right? I use a one minute chart, but here we're actually going to change this to a five day or a five minute chart, okay? We'll do uh, one day, five minutes uh, right here, right? Well, what you're looking for is you're looking for divergence, just like I've taught you in all the other videos. Again, divergence is where something uh, very similar to this, a double top, right? But look at this, you actually have a lower high, right? Same with the fast stochastic, the MACD histogram, um, kind of my new secret weapon that I love to use, right? So when you see this, right, you see a double top forming, you see the divergence here on the five minute, what you want to do is you want to zoom in, okay? And once we make that double top, all you're looking for is a reverse waterfall, essentially higher lows on the way up, Okay, and you could see one, two, three, four, five, and then the minute we break right below on this candle, we break below the previous slow, that would actually be your entry, okay, and your stop will go above here because we're using a five minute um, time frame. You can either wait for a potential kickback or just jump in if it's low enough risk because we are using options so the way you would trade this setup right here is come over here and i like to color code this right and color code th uh uh number nine okay and then what you'll do is you'll come over to the trade tab you'll go to whichever option you want in the option chain of spy if you want to trade the e-mini S&P 500, just type in the ES futures. You could do those, you could do uh, the micros, they even have uh, futures, so, or sorry, options on those futures, but we'll do SPY right now. Kind of keep it simple. So what you'll do is come over here to the 382, you wanna go right around, we'll, we'll call it at the money, okay? Um, right click and click send and then click on number nine if you want another way to do is just click left click copy go back to your chart okay highlight that and then control v and then enter and it'll bring it right back in there right so hold on let me redo this Okay, here we go. And so now we have our option chain. If you want, just so you could look um, for a long up here. If you want to sell the calls, you can, um, or you could buy the calls if you're uh, bullish. If you want to do puts, you would just make sure you do puts. But I, I really don't care if it's calls or puts because you're doing it at the money. Um, if I was bearish, all I would do is I would actually just sell the call because that's the same as me being bearish. Um, if I want to get long, I just get long the calls, which means I'm bullish. So hopefully that helps. Okay, uh, but real quick, if you want to help support my channel, check this out. 
If you want to help support my channel, get some trading education, and also get weekly S&P E-mini trade zone levels, support, and resistance, then you need to sign up with my $99 lifetime subscription, one-time payment of the S&P weekly trade zones, where you will get support and resistance levels, any open gaps and VPOX, and you will also get a seven hour video course of my top five trading strategies that I go over that I use on a daily basis. Also, as a bonus, you will get over 30 free Thinkorswim custom indicators and charts. And you will get on a weekly basis every weekend Thinkorswim share chart uh, so you can upload the drawings directly to your charts. If you use another uh, brokerage firm, here are all the levels that you'll be able to draw your own levels on. So make sure you check out daytradingfearless.com to sign up or the link down below. Again, $99, but back to the video. Okay, with that being said, um, let so so there's that way, right? And then we also can use our AD lines, our secret th uh, today only three minute market profile, right? If everything lines up, we could then come over and we can actually do Nadex, right? And so with Nadex, um, it's again, defined risk, right? So uh, these, uh, you could pick which options. I'm doing this after market, but there is a 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. one. Right. And let's just say I was bearish, whatever the question it, or whatever it, it is. But I was looking at this setup right here. OK, on change this to a five minute chart. So everything lines up right. Here's that same exact setup. Once it breaks, you could come over and then you could either buy or sell um, this, right? You could do an at the money, which will be about 50 bucks. Or you, if you think we're gonna have a big collapse, you could buy out of the money and maybe it's $11, right? Or these numbers are all kind of messed up because of where we're at. But just remember, as we go lower, these numbers are going to get less and less that you're going to pay for. But as we move to it, it will become um, more and more, right? Meaning this might be $11 for this uh 3850 strike while we're up here but if we do fall and price does collapse from there as we start to go that $11 might go all the way up to $50 and then if it keeps going it'll go 60 70 all the way up to potentially 100 by the end of the day so it's just a different way of trading um patterns right maybe on a bigger time frame if you're looking for bigger moves but you don't want to use the futures right you can use the options and look for that explosion um in the options that'll give you bigger gains so look at this move off of this massive divergent and of course this was a news event um Today's I'm filming this, uh, they were talking about the crypto collapse of FTX and all that. Coinbase got hurt and so that kind of dragged the whole market down. But um, you could see how far down we went. That could have been a home run trade with only a little bit of risk, right? Essentially, this is your risk and this became your reward. So hopefully that helps. Um, as always, thank you for watching uh, my uh, videos and until next time, we'll talk to you soon.